Hello. Hey, uh, Christian Prince, how are you, my friend? I'm fine. I, long time no see. Uh, you remember, maybe you remember me, Rob Christian from Paul Talk. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. How are you, Rob? How are you? <laughs> good, to, good to have you. Yes, I remember you for sure. Yeah, good to see you, my friend. I've been uh, online for a long time, but it's always a pleasure to talk to you, my brother. Thank you. Uh, Same here. You were mentioning the, the red <coughs> penalties, right? That Mohammed stole? Yeah. <laughs> Did you find it? Did you know where it is? Uh, anything, any, any news? I think some Jew uh, he stole it, man. I don't. I'm not sure. Uh, we have to accuse the Jews. No, it cannot be the Jews because the the, the Muslims are the ones who are accusing the Prophet of stealing it. <laughs> no, it's always the Jews. Did you know that? Uh, yeah, but but in this case they cannot do that because the Muslims are accusing the Prophet. It's not uh, like an out uh, or like it's an inside job, you know. <laughs> an inside job. Yeah. Yeah. That must be the case. Yeah, like 9/11. <laughs> Yeah, you know, uh, uh, CP about uh, the, the story of Jacob. It's really uh, very interesting. You know, you know, Muslims love to uh, use the verse from Deuteronomy eighteen eighteen, right, to show us that hey, this is Muhammad that uh, uh, is mentioning here in this uh, Deuteronomy uh, verse, mm. right? Uh, but they forget one thing that when it says uh, there will be a prophet. From among you, fellow Israelites. Now, you mentioned something really important uh, when you talk about Israel. Who is Israel? It's Jacob, right? When we go to the Bible, we know who is Israel. It's Jacob. But of course, the Muslims, the Abduls, they don't know who Israel is. So every Christian needs to ask this question first Who is Israel? And what does it mean to be a fellow Israelite? So, when you explain to them that Jacob is Israel, then how is it possible that Muhammad uh, is a brother of an, of Jacob? That's a problem, right? Well, uh, first of all, why the Muslim even looking for Muhammad in the in the Torah when the Quran said that the one who mentioned his name is Isa, and he called him even Ahmed. He did not even call him Muhammad. You see. Yes. The Muslims, the, the Muslims always like you know. There, there's a there's a short of an, uh, intellect. Uh, if we go in the Quran, you will see that the one who will mention the name of what is called the Prophet of Islam is a Isa, and therefore that will not be in the Old Testament. It says here, why the Qala Isa ibn Maryam hmm? uh, uh, that there is a Prophet after me will come. His name is Ahmad, not Muhammad. And this yes. is in chapter 61, verse number 6. So if the name of Muhammad is coming in the Old Testament, that's mean the one who making a lie here is Allah, for this is the wrong statement, the wrong location. But brother, it's Muhammadim, not Ahmad. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, at the same time, why Muhammad in the time, in his time, did not say to them, okay, my name is there, Muhammadim. <laughs> Muhammadim, huh? You see, there's many things about the Muslims. When Christians, they debate with Muslims, they forgot because they don't have really the knowledge. Like when a Muslim, yeah. as an example, say to you, uh, that's uh, the name of Muhammad in the Bible. Shouldn't you ask him why Muhammad never say so? And yes. He, why, why he don't quote? Why he don't quote any of those verses the Muslims are quoting for us today? Why he didn't quote from uh, uh, John or Luke or from the Old Testament? Why Muhammad never say uh, uh, this is the verse speaking about me? And when the Muslims accuse, as example, Paul, they call him names. Shouldn't Muhammad be the first to know about Paul if he's a bad person? Why Muhammad never say the bad word about Paul? Actually, Islamic books, all of it, speaking about Paul as a messenger of Allah. So exactly. what, what the Muslims today are suffering from, Muslims, they are disconnected with their own cult. They don't even know their cult, but yet they claim to know your own belief. They want to teach you what your Bible means, but they cannot even explain to us one verse in the Quran. Yeah, but the, you know, the thing is... Uh... To be honest, uh, Christian <laughs> Prince, those Muslims, the Muslims that they try to show you or show me or any Christian, hey, this is the verse that is talking about Muhammad. Those people are not smart. If I was a truly smart and really genius Muslim, you know what I should answer to a Christian? But, uh, you, had, but, please, you please, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you, say, did you say if I am a smart or genius Muslim? I mean, how you can find that? Are you... Uh, are I you think, dreaming or I something? Think if you were a Muslim uh, Christian prince, I think you would have been a very smart Muslim. <laughs> are you a high or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You know why? You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> I know, I know. 
But, I would say, hey, you Christians and Jews, you changed your Bible and you removed the name of Ahmed. Hmm. But Don't here, you think? but you see here that the Muslims they have problem actually. Is the name of Muhammad Muhammad or Ahmed? Because if this is a name, the name should not be changed. If it's a title, then it's a title. And this proves my point that Muhammad is not the name of this guy. This guy, he claimed to be God. He called himself Muhammad. What Muhammad? If we ask any Muslim what Muhammad means, he would say the praised one. If yes. Muhammad is the praised one, so who is Allah? Allah is... Uh, the the praise, the, the no, sold idol, right? He is the pra idol. No, he is the praise too. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, aren't you then a mushri mushrik CP? If you uh, call Muhammad uh, the anointed one, that's shirk. Mm. Shirk, right. the Shahada is shirk, you know, they associate the name of their God with the name of a man. Yes. Even Allah Himself is a mushrik because Allah, He wrote the name of Muhammad in His chair. Imagine, guys, Allah, He made a piece of furniture. And now Allah, he look at this chair like, what is missing there? What is missing there? What? He sit in it, he flip it, he is not comfortable, something really missing there. And bingo, he got it. It is the name of Muhammad. So Allah, he decide to write in his chair that there is no God but Allah and there is no messenger but Muhammad. And then Allah, he felt so comfortable and now his chair is so beautiful after he wrote the name of Muhammad. Have you ever heard of a God? He need to write a name of a man. In his chair, a man. Do you know what a man is, guys? To yeah. just to to make you like, you know, think about it. If you look at the Earth in this space, the whole Earth is not even a, in the size of a dust compared to this universe. Amazing, huge universe. So imagine the God who created all this huge, crazy universe. He wrote the name of muhammad in his chair yeah but cp you know the thing is it's not only that you have many gods in islam we know that the quran has 140 chapters so you have 140 chapters that will be god so you 140 plus allah plus muhammad then you have omar who uh, abrogated muta ah. so omar is also allah because he can abrogate the muta ah of allah in the quran so how many gods we have now well, I think I think our our, our caller here is uh, is is, uh, is is are you fasting Ramadan or something? Me? No, yeah? I, no? I, okay. I I forgot, man. I forgot. My friend, the Muslims will say when you say you, you they have one hundred fourteen uh, God in the Quran. You need to explain to them because the Quran is not created, correct? Yes. <laughs> so as long guys, just to explain to you what he's saying, the Quran according to Muslim is not created. Okay, Allah is not created. Okay, so now we have two uncreated object or person whatever you want to call them as yeah, long the Quran is 114 good, chapters right? so Quran is also God it uh, must be a divine because it's any created yeah. who is the one who created the Quran the Muslim they say it is any created okay yes, so now exactly. Allah is any created and Quran is not a created so now we have two uncreated individuals how that can be how you Muslim yeah. you say to us Allah is one and then we find that there is two any created because if Allah is the creator, then anything after him should be created by him. Yeah, but and what about Yamin Allah, the, the black stone of Allah? Who uh, is well, you know, Allah? two days ago, a Muslim, he called me and he got me busted. He said, this is weak. <laughs> <laughs> it is weak? Yamin Allah is weak? Yeah, everything but, is weak. Yeah, but it will have a mouth and it will speak. So No, Yamin, Yamin Allah, Yamin Allah, we, uh, uh, the black stone they say that it is it is a weak hadith but uh, the the hadith about Allah have uh, right hands is not weak if you remember uh, Allah he have uh, two hands and both of them uh, in the right side which is very nice actually you know imagine you are in the beach and there's like a you know like you're a single like me and you have two hands in the right side and both of them in your pocket and walking in the beach the women they will go crazy man you have two hands in the right side and nothing in the left side so according to muhammad allah have two hands and both hands of allah are in his right side as you see in the front of you on the screen yeah. but uh, cp if allah has two right hands wouldn't allah be a really funny creature actually i think he, i think i think he's a cute <laughs> <laughs> me myself i would like to take a selfie with him 
from the left side so I can spank him and he will not be able to beat me back because if you're, if you're two hands in the right side, how you can defend yourself from the left side? But I think Allah would have a nice time. One shisha in the right hand, the other shisha in the, the other right hand, right? Imagine Allah smoking two shishas with one, if two put, right hands, man. <laughs> if I if I if I put if I put the cell phone in the pocket of Allah in the left side, how Allah can get it? <laughs> and why Allah have? I mean, what the problem with the Muslims that Allah hands both are in the right side? You see, the Muslims because Islam is an is a counterfeit uh, religion, they they learn from the Old Testament and from the Bible that the word the word right, you see, the right the right side of God. It's it, the right, uh, uh, you know. So the word right have a have a religious meaning, but Muhammad because he take it in a literate way, so his God became so funny. So now Allah have two hands and both of them they are right because it's going to be a problem if Allah have a left hand because remember Shaitan have left hands, Allah cannot have left hands. Shaitan yeah. he eat if you when you eat by the left hand, Shaitan eat with you. Man, to be honest, I think this Allah of uh, Muslims really looks funny. He, imagine he has two right hands. He is short. He is uh, fat, and he has really curly hair, right? Yeah. So if you if can we can you draw Allah for for us uh, CP? I mean, you can do it, right? Well, I know you are. Yeah, really, actually, I really good artist. I won many prize prize before about drawing, as you know, and actually, you know, I'm I'm sure you you have some of my pain. Did you buy any of them? <laughs> <laughs> maybe we can maybe we can put it besides uh, Mona Lisa in uh, Fran France yeah France. well uh, if we go to the hadith we will find Muhammad describe how Allah looked like and Muhammad he was confused about how Allah how the Muslims they will believe in the Antichrist so here in the, the hadith in front of us it says that Allah so so I don't know what does that mean s a w w w w w w dot com s said I told you so much about the Dajjal, the Antichrist, Muslims. Why? Why you Muslims believe in the Antichrist? Why the Antichrist is Antichrist, not anti Allah? <laughs> why he is not anti Muhammad? Muhammad is the last prophet. Look like Muhammad is not the problem for the devil. Christ is the problem. Here we go. Even even the Muslims believe is exposing Islam. How in the world you say to us, Imam Jesus is just a prophet, but yet the devil is Antichrist? Yeah. Why in the world, if Allah He sent one hundred twenty-four thousand prophet, why the devil choose to be antichrist, not anti Muhammad, not anti Abraham, not anti David, not anti anyone, especially Muhammad? Why antichrist? They have no answer. Let it go. Then Muhammad He says, "I'm afraid that you may not understand. The antichrist is short, hinted, blah blah blah, blah and here we go, and I, and I sightless, neither protruding nor deep seated. I mean, look at the description." And what Muhammad is worried about, he is worried that they will misbelieve in the wrong person. And now he confirmed that this description is exactly the description of Allah, except Allah is not one eyed. So, what the difference between the Antichrist and Allah is just one eye. The right eye is not damaged, Allah is a man. Yeah. You know, I, I think Allah Allah looks like a pirate, uh, CP. I don't know, really. Uh, you know, if you remove, <laughs> I don't know if you, you look it, like a pirate. <laughs> yeah, if you look at the description, you look weird. Look like Charlie Chaplin somehow. You know, I don't know. But uh, but the important is why the Muslims even will will uh, 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 like why muhammad is worrying about the muslim will be confused between allah and the man the man is a man because the the jail the antichrist he is a person as you see he will come as a man and muhammad described him as a man he's a human being so why the muslims will think that he is allah and why the description is about physical shape if this guy is the devil i mean can't he fix his eye he can go to any clinic you know they can install a fake one. Nobody will notice. Isn't it the Quran and isn't it what the Muslims believe that Shaitan, the genie, he come, he came and he took the look of uh, of uh, of Suleiman. That's mean the the Shaitan and all the Muslims believe that Shaitan can change his 
right? Yeah, he's shape shifter, and he can change his look. Even the Quran says, "You see him, but you, he, he see you, but you don't see him." So uh, this is why he's called genie. Actually, the word Jannah is coming from the jinn. What is the jinn? Jinn is uh, some something you cannot see. So the the person who is able or capable capable sorry of being unseen and he can change because how he can be unseen because he changed his shape he can be muhammad he says the black dog is a devil so what which mean the genie can take the shape of a black dog the muslim believe even genie can come to you as a human and have sex with you uh, uh, the genie can come as a camel can come as a cow can come as a tree can come as anything so if this is a genie and the antichrist is the dajjal who is a shaitan which means he's a genie so what the point of saying he have a problem with the right eye yeah, but also a jinn can come also in a human shape because in Islam a jinn can have sex with a, a Muslim woman, right? Yes, yes. Not uh, only so is is I mean can't he give himself a second eye and look like Allah? I mean the only difference is that Allah has more than one eye, right? So I mean if he, if Shaitan can do anything, he can look like Allah. So what's the problem? Muhammad he met with some genie. He claimed that he met with some genie from Nasribin. Which is an it's a, it's an Assyrian uh, 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 you know uh, like territory at that time, and he claimed that those people are genie. Why? Because they are tall, and um, and then he met another group. He claimed that they are genie because they are black. You know? Yeah, and and this Sabine, it's still uh, a neighborhood in Syria. It still exists. Yeah, I know. No, it's I know it exists, but yeah. I mean this guy he. Uh, he he met with people and he claimed um, that they are a genie and but they are in the shape of a human being. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Uh, CP, uh, another thing, you know, you know about uh, the story that two Jewish women came to Aisha and they basically played with her a game, right? And they trolled her about uh, uh, Azab al Qabr, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Punishment that, of the grave. Yeah. But you know, uh, when you look at uh, uh, the different thing, when you when Muslims love to give us Surah two, uh, verse seventy nine, where it says that the Jews uh, played uh, uh, with something, you know, uh, they wrote uh, scripture and they said this is from Allah. But if you go to Tafsir al Jalalain, for example, they played the exact same game with Muhammad. You know, they wrote something, some book. And they said to him, hey, uh, this is from Allah. Yeah? Exactly the same game. Those Jews, they're really something, you know, they are really trolling Jews. Well, uh, you know, uh, the, the Jews in the time of Muhammad, obviously, um, they made Muhammad angry for sure. And they got him busted in many ways. However, you know, the stories about the Jews from the Islamic source, I believe most of it is fabricated. Um, remember, you know, this is a one-sided history, same as the Christians. Yeah. You know, you yourself, you came from the Middle East. If you watch in the month of Ramadan, and this is now we are in the Ramadan, they play uh, uh, series like uh, movies about uh, Islam and Jewish and Christians. Yeah. Always in the movie, they make the Jewish guy or the Christian guy is a guy who have a long nose and he have a nose like a like a chicken, you know, like his uh, like a witch. You know? Yeah, he's an ugly yeah. guy, disgusting. He have no honor. He like money. He drink wine, and his wife she sleep around, and there are people who spend the night just having sex and having uh, drinking wine, and the Muslims are the people who is praying to God, spending yeah. their day praying, asking Allah for forgiveness, and yeah. their faces is like you know, glorious people. Yeah, but CP, you have the, uh, one problem. If you go to the Hadith, you will see that in the early uh, period of Islam, the men, they used to go around with their male, par uh, male parts dripping, right? You have it in the Hadith. Yeah, yeah. I'm, so how can they make that claim when in, in Ramadan, there is a place, you know, I think it's in Medina. I'm not sure if it is Mecca or Medina. I think it's in Medina. They go around and they have sex and uh, they have dripping uh, male parts. Uh, but if, if you go to the English translation, it's totally different, right? Maybe you can explain to the audience. Yeah, actually, uh, here uh, it says, imagine, like, uh, guys, do you see it? This is the hadith he's talking about. Uh, here they are doing tawaf, they are doing hajj. 
and exactly. they are and during the Hajj the guy is saying that we used to go around the Kaaba and our penises drip in semen do you see it guys do you see it yes we get out with our male organs dripping with semen now why in the world those people they are going to go around the Kaaba and their male organs dripping semen many Muslims because it was allowed it was allowed because they have sex around the Kaaba because this is it was a sexual religion you know yeah. it was a sexual imagine? religion people they go uh, 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 and the different hadith mentioned that they used to go naked around the Kaaba totally naked you know uh, otherwise uh, uh, I mean what what do you mean your penis are dripping semen like is it like uh, the faucet is broken or something I know what's happening here yeah what a nasty filthy sick sex room. oh please don't insult the prophet guys I did not insult him this is the caller you know I am not yeah. res disclaimer disclaimer <laughs> sue me guys sue me. <laughs> yeah I don't agree with you that Muhammad he wasn't a very just you know he's just an open-minded man he's hippie yeah but he, he didn't he uh, used to clean his hands uh, with the clothes of Aisha when uh, they had sex I oh. mean very clean yeah no, he used to clean his hands in the in the floor actually uh, but but you see but you see uh, the point of the prophet doing that he is the best example for Jean Claude Van Damme you know him this actor they ask him in an interview in Emirat how you can maintain yourself to be healthy like this and you are in this age he said look at the best example as example the prophet Muhammad <laughs> <laughs> what a scam this guy he is doing a movie is is uh, the, is paid by the Arab by the Muslims in the Emirat so he, he know what they like to hear you know he is preparing himself so he said look as an example the best prophet the prophet he used to eat his boogers the prophet he used to drink the soup full of fleas and the prophet used to be full of lice and the prophet he used to take a shower with dead dogs and women bl blood from period and yet the best example is the prophet <laughs> imagine yeah, and Um Salama loved uh, pick the lice from his hair, right? Wasn't um, it? Um, um Salama and Um Haram. Oh, yeah, man. many, many of them actually. Yeah, but uh, but it remember, must be a great hobby, right? Yeah, but remember, be, uh, yeah, at that time, <laughs> uh, of, uh, yeah, actually, I don't know if you remember. Once I, I asked a Muslim uh, in Nepal talk, he said, at that time, people don't kill the lice because it was the only entertainment they have. <laughs> Imagine how many, how many Sahaba, uh, because Muhammad had uh, lice, they did it too, right? Because uh, everything uh, the Prophet did, they, they did the same. Do you Prophet remember, did. Rob, did you remember once uh, when this guy, uh, what his name, Osama Abdullah, he came to Pal Talk in my room and he said to us, you Christians are filthy, full of lies. Yeah, 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 and you showed them the hadith. Right? Yeah, I said to him, so are you saying the one who have lies is dirty? He said, sure. Well, you know, do you know what lies happen? Why? He said, I said, explain to us why. He said, because it's stupid, you stink and you didn't take a shower. <laughs> and then I yeah, said to you him, don't, You don't go easy on these guys. Man. Yeah. And then I said to him, So what do you, what do you, what do you say if I show you a prophet? He have lies. He started reading <laughs> the hadith. He said, Um, 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 uh, okay, I will be back. <laughs> 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 yeah. Life hadith, Habibi, life. yeah in the in the other time he came to us and uh, uh, he he uh, you know we were talking about magic he took the mic he said only stupid people believe in magic I said are you sure Abdul he said yeah I'm very sure I said so what do you say about the Quran speaking about Allah is the one who teach magic he said it's proven scientifically it's false what are you talking about so I show him the verse and then the Muslim they made articles against him saying this guy is a kafir and he is denying that magic is coming from Allah. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. What we can say. Let us hope that some Muslims will call us. Do you have any any more questions? Uh, no, brother. It was it is a really pleasure to uh, to speak to you after such a long period. Uh, keep it up, guys. Uh, please support uh, CP. Uh, and uh, God bless my friend and maybe we'll talk uh, again soon. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Quite I had a time really nice pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. See, see you, my friend. Mommy, I want some milk.
Oh, sure, Angel. Come here. Let me give you a little something. <laughs> Slow down, honey. Your son is so cute. How old is he? Oh, he's uh, 48 months. That's four. Get a good feeling, yeah. Yeah. I get a feeling that I never, 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 never had before. No, no. Yeah. I just want to tell you right now that uh, I believe, I really do believe that. Something's got a hold on me here Let's get ready to rumble! So, uh, yeah, yeah, I am just curious regarding, regarding this um, sucking the breast of adult for 10 times. Can you just tell me how many times when people come to your house, they suck the breast of your wife? Uh. <laughs> Assalamualaikum Yesterday, ye yesterday I left the He comment. wants to come to your house to experience. Ye ye Aisha would not disclose any matter which degrade the wife and the prophet peace upon him. And this is not the way of Islamic teaching because Islam is very protective to our women. So let and we let just just I, I didn't finish. Uh, let okay. me finish. Finish will, quickly. I, I'm gonna. I, I, I know that you're always. Let okay. me respond. Okay, just, just respond. get on. Just get on. Get on. Islam, if you know, sometimes when a male came to visit, we sit the male in one room and the female in another room. So it's not. It's not the way that we invite strange people to come and suck our the breast of our women because we can suck them as well. Our women. It's not the way that we invite strange people to come and suck our the breast of our women because we can suck them as well. Our women. It's our our uh, right to enjoy love. Up to you. Block on Facebook, block on WhatsApp, block the phone, block on Instagram, block, 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 block. I hope you all got that one. Yes, they do invite strangers to come and suck the breast of their wives. So here's a couple of po comments. If yes, come. Oh, he wants. Our cameraman wants to come to your house to see suck the breast of females. 
that has no place in Christian scripture, brother. Don't make me to fire you. So you, you just said exactly what I said is forbidden. If you come, yeah, yeah. If, yeah, you, yeah, if you come to my house and you look in a different way to my wife, I will remove your eyes. It's and you good. will lose your life. It sir. is good that you, do you want to, yeah, yeah. Do you want me to yeah, execute yeah. you? This is not funny. It is not funny. Yes, I, you want to remove people's eyes if I'll, they come and then suck the breast of your wife. But who is going to stand for Aisha? Who is going to stand for the woman when Muhammad said, let this boy who has got the beards to suck the breast of her? Who is going to stand up for them? Muhammad didn't poke anyone's eyes. Muhammad didn't threaten anyone. Muhammad said, go and suck the breast of woman. So you I said, you I yeah, 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 wait, yeah, 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 this is the Aisha, Bukhari. is the mother of believers. Let me Yet, you. according to Muslims, she you. lies. There is a hadith where the Prophet told a woman to suckle a man, and she said he is a grown man. And the Prophet replied, I know he is. Ooh, I suck it to me like you want to. Ooh, I could take it like a pro, you know. Do a long throw with the backstroke. My hormones jumping like a disco. I be popping ish like some Crisco And all you gotta say is miss it go And when you say go I won't move slow uh -huh. Suck it to me Ooh I Suck it to me like you tell me to Ooh I can take it like a pro You know Do a long throw with the backstroke My hormones jumping like a disco I be popping mess like some Crisco All you gotta say is miss it go To make it short, you know, because most of you do not know who is talking, this is one of the biggest imams of the Muslim Sunni. His name is a Sheikh Al Alabani, and he is explaining why we know we should practice that. And he is showing you the hadith, as you see in the screen. You know, you can go and you can read the hadith, and you will see the story about the Prophet of Islam ordering women to give breastfeeding. You know, to an adult and a man, he is a stranger. A woman, she came to the Prophet, her name, Umm Hudayfa, you know, uh, Sahla bint Suhail, and, uh, you know, this is the name of the person, the, the woman, and she said to him, there is a guy, you know, I see like a dirty look in his face, which means he is looking to me in a sexual way, you know. So, uh, uh, you know, he said to her, uh, uh, the Prophet of Islam, you know, well, give him, give him your breast, okay? Oops, and let him suck it. Oops, and then, you know, <laughs> suck it. <laughs> so she said, how I can, you know, let, let, let suckle him as he is a grow up man. He is a growing up man. This is the prophet of Islam. Give your breast to a stranger. The messenger of Allah, he smiled. Ha, 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 ha. Let me do it in a different way. What this ha, ha. <laughs> this, is, this is better, right? Okay. Well, that's it. That's it. 
Uh, it's time for breastfeeding for you. Hello. About adult breastfeeding. There are all kinds of fetishes and they're absolutely normal. You're going to have your own preferences. And the problem is that most people don't even know what their fetishes are or don't talk about them. So when you have a certain fetish like a mother-son role play and you think you're weird, it's because people are so ashamed of revealing their fantasies that you think you're the only one, but you are not. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. Why your prophet kissed a black stone? Okay, Jesus, Jesus do more actually, worse actually. Ah, he play with his so mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother what? Boobs? You must why? be okay. You see, you see guys, he's you see guys, you see guys, you see how you see how selfish they are. Look what she said. Oh no! Look what she said. Look what she not said. Like you. Okay, but show me. That, show me. Okay, show me a verse. Show me a verse. Really? Show me a verse saying that Jesus he played why with his mother. Show, me, his show me his a verse. Show me a verse saying that Jesus he played. Listen, listen. You are obviously a trashy person. You just insulted Jesus for no reason. You say Jesus he played with his mother boobs, right? Okay. You listen. You are a liar. Number one. Number two. It's your prophet who order women to give their boobs to strangers. Is that true or not? No, it's not. Can I suckle you? Okay, let us read the hadith. Then. Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? Can I suckle? Can I? Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? Listen, 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 listen. According to Islam, according to Islam, your boobs is lawful for me. Can I suckle you? Listen. As long as you are talking about boobs and no, you are a savage, low class person, why you are a prophet? Let, let, let us say it together. Let us say it together. Sahla bin to Suhail. Sahla bin to Suhail. Let me let me let me mute. Let me let me mute you. You are you are so dumb. Listen, guys, look at this. Sahla bin to Suhail came to the messenger of Allah, and said, "I see a displeasure in the face of Abu Hudayfa when Salim enters upon me." The messenger he said, "Breastfeed him." She said, how I can breastfeed him and he is a growing man. <laughs> the prophet, he said, I know he is a growing man. So listen, uh, Tahani, can you do breastfeeding for any friend of yours? When the last time, when the last time, when the last time you did the breastfeeding for an adult in your life? Be honest. When the last time you, you want, did? No, when, you want to bring me this what, Egyptian stupidity? What Egyptian? No, this is I don't want to listen to this. This is Hadith. This is Hadith. This is Hadith. What is it? Guys, did she say stupidity? Did she say that? Did she yes, say that? Yes, where's this Hadith? Tell me who said this. Your prophet. Where? Tell me this Hadith. In the front of us. Here we go. It's in the screen. And it's a Sahih Hadith. Guys, does it say Sahih? Sunan and Nisai. Hadith number 3320. It says Sahih. Everybody can see it. The you just said, you just no. said, and you just admitted that this is a stupid hadith. Thank you very much. So you just admitted yes, that you're a Because it's a week. What week? It says because sahih. Everybody can I'm see. Every, everybody in the screen. You I have, I have you know, it. No, I have that. it in the screen. Anything will make Islam look stupid. Right away, they say it's not authentic. Okay, so when you read the hadith and you do not like it, you say, that is the one percent which I'm talking about. And you read another hadith which you do not digest, you say the same. Uh, it is not a true hadith that uh, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam forget uh, of uh, any Quran. What do you mean, Sahih uh, Bukhari? Uh, a friend, Sahih Bukhari. So, are you having doubt concerning the hadith itself, or concerning the narration or the chain of the narrators? This is the hadith in Sahih Bukhari. Is uh, not the true hadith. Um, Her friend, it's Sahih Bukhari. How you can say so, that? So, so in uh, it, it was in Bukhari. Uh, we don't uh, believe in this hadith. Oh, Bukhari, and, and not, the, uh, under what authority you don't believe in hadith? If the hadith is says Sahih, even it's it's accepted by all the scholars of Islam. And here we go. You are a sheikh. Can you show me one scholar reject this hadith? That Sahih al Bukhari, all the Ummah agree that it is the most authentic book after the Quran. Some Muslims have a doubt about Hadith. May Allah guide them. Even though you are reading from their books, from what is approved by them for centuries, from what is written by their hands, collected by their hands, printed by their printing and by their ink, and they themselves they are the one who paid the money to print those books and to preserve them 
for centuries. So why today those books are not good no more? There are hadiths mentioned in Bukhari and Muslim which contradict with Quran. So how can we expect that this hadith is Sahih hadith? But the Quran is not the only source of guidance for Muslims. We also need the Sunnah and the living example of the Prophet Muhammad in order to fully comprehend and understand the religion of Islam. You are a liar. You are a liar. It's in front of me. It says Sahih. Really? Look at the screen. No, Look at the screen. Bible. Tahani, so Tahani, Tahani, shut up, shut up. Ah, big mouth, big mouth like Aisha. It's in the front of me. It says a grade Sahih. Sunan and Nisa, hadith number 3320. In book reference, book number 26, hadith 125. Volume in English, volume 4, book number 26, hadith number 3322. And you said, and everybody heard you saying that this is a stupid hadith. So you just admitted that your prophet is a stupid. I agree with you. What do you want to say? Go ahead. I said this hadith is weak. No, you said and stupid. Would, you said and stupid. You, know that. you said yes, stupid. Yes, so Muslim do this for. Okay, for I will a challenge you. Time. If this hadith is right, you will you it's will a, find Muslims do this. I, I'm sure you do it. I'm sure you do it. Prove it to me. You don't do it. What? That you don't do uh, breastfeeding for adult. Do you have a proof? Oh my god. Baby, up, up. <sighs> he thought I was going to tell him I was pregnant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. So, Miss Corporate Climber over here, pregnant? <laughs> you guys, I want to have a baby at mm -hmm. some point. <gasps> Maybe you can schedule one between a conference call and a client meeting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know. Daryl is the one that I'm really worried about. Oh, really? Yeah, are you kidding me? You're lucky he wants one at all. I had to promise Greg I'd give him these. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. Okay, easy, fella. <laughs> Ooh, this one's real grabby. Oh, he must have been breastfed. Is the baby hungry? Oh, he should be nursed. Baby, light nursing, nursing. Are you sure you should do that? Oh, yeah, you don't have to be the birth mother to breastfeed. Nope, nope. Nursey, nursey. Mm. You want a nursey? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what do you got, precious? Oh, this one's real wriggly, huh? <laughs> Come on. Come on now. Oh, suck it. So now, go back to the basics. Then. Man comes to your house, let's say, Muhammad Hijab comes to your house, okay? And you are not at home. How many times, for how many minutes each, each time, needs to be for Muhammad Hijab to be able to sit down with your wife? How many times and how many minutes Muhammad Hijab needs to suck the breast of your wife? Okay. Let me respond, then I come to Muhammad Hijab when I invite him to my house. Ali! Let me respond, then I come to Muhammad Hijab when I invite him to my house and I'm not at home. When Bukhari came, Bukhari came 185 years after the death of the Prophet and maybe Aisha. So it's, it's obvious that this hadith is all of them. very pleasing for you all to always them. come up with, but I am not pleased of it. I, I, didn't I know it is very I ugly. All I, I am saying is, uh, how does me. the practical side me. is Hatton very? How Hatton many times excuse me. Hatton Hatton excuse me. when he comes to your Hatton house, for how many seconds Hatton he needs to suck the breast of your Hatton wife? Hat, hat on atun. I didn't interrupt you, and I said there is you as you know there is over seven thousand hadiths. And most of them are inside authentic, uh, false, fabricated. According to, to you, to, not according to Sahih Bukhari. No, no, according not to you, according to the only Muslim because, scholars, uh, but according, according, according to the first century Muslims. According to you, is hadith authentic because you hate the Prophet, you hate Islam, you hate Quran, you hate Allah.
according to you, according to you, according to you, is hadith authentic because you hate the prophet, you hate Islam, you hate Quran, you hate Allah. Uh, regarding re regarding regarding Muhammad Hijab, no one is welcome to my place if I am not there. You're a liar. You're finished already. Don't make assumption that somebody will come to my house and suck on the breast of anyone because he is not. Nobody is welcome if I'm not there. Can you simply tell me just one sentence, okay? What is it wrong for man who has a beard to suck the breast of woman? What is wrong? Why do you think it's ugly and disgraceful? Like, what want, is wrong with it? You want in one sentence without one sentence. interrupting? Uh, yeah, you can put two comma in that sentence. With beard or without beard? With beard. He's not allowed to breastfeed on other people's women without without authorization from Almighty God. And we as Muslims, we are very protective of our women. And go and see your women who are going almost half naked. We are very close here, Winter Wonderland. And the Christian women are going, even, even showing off most of their legs, most of their breasts, and they are going without any, almost half a nude. And the funny, Muslims says that our women are so decent. We cover them and the Prophet of Islam is ordering the women to give their breasts for a stranger. So why you are covering your wife or covering your women who when you can give any man the opportunity to suck your women a breast? Islam actually goes a step further. It's actually outside marriage. If you go to Sahih Bukhari, it says here, Sahih Bukhari, Ibn Abbas said that he gives the verdict that he asked about the muta marriage with women and he permitted it. But muta is actually outside of marriage. You already have a wife. And here's also Muhammad allowing it. Sahih Bukhari, volume 7, 6252, it says here, Allah's messenger said, if a man or woman agrees on a temporary marriage, that's muta. The marriage should be for last for three days. That was more than one sentence, yet I have no answer to my basic question. But let me, let me put it together. Allah, who is all wise and all merciful, uses Muhammad and Muhammad tells people, if someone comes to your house, he needs to breast suck the woman. It was 10 times, Allah showed mercy and brought that to five times. And thanks to sheep, came and then eat the verse, which is not in the Quran today. So uh, you, you have the you stamp how, how, from Allah. Are you how? how are, are you, you have somehow, the stamp from you Allah who gives you the permission. I am grateful today that you don't want your wife to go through that. Yeah. But I am disappointed, wife of your prophet, whom is the walking Quran, and uh, wives are identified as the mother of believers had to go through that. And I feel very sorry for Aisha. Let me she had to go through that. Let me respond. But I am grateful. Let me respond, Allah please. used this ship, Let me respond. which was very clever, that ship came and then ate the right okay. verse okay. from the Quran. Let, let and it never ended up in the Quran. That was the my Quran, response. Yeah, the, yeah, Quran, the Quran uh, states, the Quran state, 
even after the prophet death, his wife not allowed to marry somebody else. So how would isn't he? Isn't that already disturbing? Isn't that already disturbing? It is Muhammad disturbing. Muhammad can have sex because with as much as he wants. Everything you say, I give you. And he dies. Something his contradicted. His wives are not even able to accepting. marry with someone else. And do you have any other issue you, you want to? I have lots of issues. I have lots of issues, but. You are not helping me with the I'm basic answer. So if you don't want your wife to go through Mohammed Hijab to suck the breasts of your wife, let me give you another example. And then this time, just give me one sentence answer because I'm done, okay? So you if Mohammed Hijab... Ask me to give you one sentence. If Mohammed Hijab goes to the be house of Ali Dawa, darling Hatun. and Ali Dawa is not at home, how many times Mohammed Hijab needs to suck the breast of Ali Dawa's wife? No, 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 and now, now you're doing uh, backstabbing because the guy is not here to defend himself. Oh, okay, I'm and sorry. You, you are so, a very wicked woman. So just so, you are very so evil, they're not woman. here to defend themselves. Why don't you talk themselves? about yourself? I am asking and talk basic about principle me. of Islam. Talk about me because but you're talking about somebody else. But the are not here to defend themselves. Is backstabbing, backbiting. I, I am and asking you. You have big mouth to backbite. How many You have big mouth to backbite. How many seconds? And last time I told you, your tongue should be circumcised. That means cut because. You speak about other people in a, in a bad way, and you should have respect for yourself because they are not here to decide I don't to defend know. themselves. I don't know why. Why, why, why it is backstepping? I don't know why. You know, I love so, it. Soon after, you give quotation from the Islamic sources. That is expression of hate. You know, I, am I don't know why. I have all I am doing is I am you know, reading. And I there are Brad people. Pete. Who are Brad following Sakin. it? Wait, wait. There are people you know, who are following it. That's you know, more I have dangerous. Only one yeah, wife. Yeah. I'll see you. We are just asking very easy question. For God's sake, how Muslims can believe in such a garbage like this? What kind of a prophet? Listen carefully. What kind of prophet he will teach such a thing? The women, even the women, she is ashamed. She said, "How?" And this is showing you that this is no one at that time. Nobody. None of those Arab ever did that before, which showing that the Arab they are not really bad people as Islam make them look like. Because if it is usual to, to be done, the women she will say, Okay, fine, you know. But as you see, she said, How? How I can? He's a growing man. This is a shame. But the evil man, he said, So what? And he is smiling as if it's nothing. As if it is nothing. Imagine yourself, you are the prophet of God, train a woman. You know what? Give your breast to a stranger. Do you understand this, my sister? Oh, muta, muta. No. A sake, sake. Yeah. Ooh, I suck it to me like you want to. Ooh, I could take it like a pro, you know. Do a long throw with the backstroke. My hormones jumping like a disco. I be popping ish like some Crisco. And all you gotta say is miss it go. And when you say go, I won't move slow. Uh -huh. Suck it to me. Ooh, I suck it to me like you tell me to. Ooh, I can take it like a pro, you know. Do a long throw with the backstroke. My hormones jumping like a disco. I be popping mess like some Crisco. All you gotta say is miss it go. But when you say it, no, I'm gonna slow. No.